Okay, so it's uh, me. I don't know if you remember me, it's been that long, but uh, I'm here in my workshop today, as you can see, and uh, I have got some cool things coming. So I thought I'd just give you a quick update as to what's uh, coming to my YouTube channel very soon, but also what's coming to my business plan, if you will. Right here is my new router cabinet, which is almost finished. I've still got to sort of get a fence for it, dust extraction and whatnot, but I've just finished this not even one hour ago. Um, and this has all been filmed. So I know I've been saying it for a while, but here we've got just a nice simple cabinet with a deep drawer for storage. Um, and you know, it should be more than sufficient for my needs. So anyone can really make this. I mean, I used a big panel saw, but as long as you've got a circular saw and a router, you'll be able to make this cabinet. Now, the other thing is if you're on Facebook, you probably saw a, f a post saying that it's a lot harder to come up with a compact floor plan than you'd think, because I'm actually running out of room in this workshop, if you believe that. Um, and this is what I've come up with. So but let's show you the problem first. So all of this here is timber that is waiting to be put in the kiln, which will be built around this big pile. All of this area in here where all the crap is right now has to be kept free so I'm able to get logs in and loaded onto my mill. Um, and as long as it's on pallets, that's okay because I can use my pallet track and move it around. But... So what I've come up with is a bit of a compact design. So I've got all of my machinery in one half of one third of my workshop really. So starting on this wall here, I've got my jointer, thicknesser and drum sander. So they're the three machines I kind of use together. Um, and they all come to one nice drop. Oh, and by the way, I've improved my dust collection a lot. Um, and that's anticipating something coming in very shortly, which I'll say in a minute. Uh, then along this wall, I have my new router table, which is well overdue. Then my bandsaw with a floor sweep, which works really well. In the back there behind the ladder and crane, I've got my radial arm saw, but that's going to move out of the way and I'm going to put probably one of my workbenches there. Then my big wadkin. I've actually turned this so it was going like that way. Now I've turned it um, to sort of feed diagonally and that's made it a lot more compact. So that is really well, uh, working really well. And then just here I've got an island. So And then inside of this I've got my compressor and air tools and things like that. Now just quickly back to the machinery side of things. Uh, you'll see that I've now got a better dust extraction system. So there is no sharp 90 degree angles, they're all at 45s. And I've also got them reducing closer to the machines to the four inch pipe. So this is actually working really well. Um, I need to replace this 90 degree with 245s, but I didn't get enough stock and put it down there instead because I'm using a T-piece. But uh, this is now six inch port straight to my panel saw which I've sort of made a dust shroud and this actually works really well. Uh, don't judge me on the design. Now I mentioned that I redid all of the dust extraction. Now obviously I had to do it to make up for the new machine placement but there's also another reason I did that um, and if you notice I've actually got rid of my homemade cyclone and that's because I'm actually going to be importing uh, well, dust collectors from a manufacturer that makes them in bulk and I'll be supplying Australia with some fairly affordable uh, dust extraction systems which you can plumb into uh, your dust extractor that's between a half horsepower and three horsepower. So that will cover most people and they're about 97% efficient. So they're really high quality, uh, super efficient for a big dust extractor and they're going to be affordable. So I can't get into the pricing yet because I haven't got duties and things like that, but uh, they will be affordable um, for the Australian market at least. So anyway, I thought I'd do a really quick uh, update video just so you know that stuff is coming. I know I've been absent um, and I apologize for that, but have you seen all that wood? That takes a lot of time, a lot of effort and quite a few injuries along the way. Luckily nothing major, but you know, things that put you out of action for half a day while you recover from busting your pooper as my helpers like to say. So I've got a lot of stuff sorted. Uh, there's a kiln build coming, so I've got a big dehumidifier coming in from that. And once that gets here, we'll be starting the construction of that. Um, so, you know, a 
homemade dehumidifier kiln. Mine will be a larger scale, but if you guys want to make it, it's pretty easy to downscale or downsize, whatever the word I'm looking for is. Um, and on top of that, we've got some nice furniture pieces that I can film, and we've got product reviews and all sorts of things coming. So, um, sorry about the absence in the last month or two, but you know, stuff happens, and when you're starting a business, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of money. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.